Good afternoon, Saint Sisters Lisa. Hello, how are you? God is good, everybody, all the time and all the time. God is what? God is good. Let's praise God. This video was covered in the blood of Jesus. Oh Lord, I am hot right now because the air conditioner is broken, but um, I'm going to get another one if they don't fix it. Okay, so everything, that everything have brought praise the Lord. Everyone, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, being in alignment with the Lord um, and for when you're waiting on your breakthroughs and to believe and receive, okay, because um, sometimes I want you to know that even though you uh, could be someone like an intercessor or whatever that can pray for other people, make sure you're praying for yourself, okay? So I, I'm, I, I've been hearing, it's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord. Stand in the need of prayer, my, not my father, but my mother, but it's me, oh Lord. Stand in the need of prayer. Because sometimes you say, Lord, when, 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 Father, the name of Jesus. And then he says to hold on tight to believe and receive, okay? Trust and believe. If God show you something, you all, I want you to know that it, it, it you know, will happen. Okay, if he have his plans for you and um, it's in his will, let his will be done. Sometimes we just have to wait. We just have to wait, you know, like e like like eagle wings, you know, we have to wait on him. Um, you know, even though it could be tearing a long, 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 long time coming. Uh, um, sometimes he have to remove those things from you that align you in the spirit to align the people around you in the spirit whatever he's going to do with you it has to be in alignment he just he's not a god that works out of order so he has to put each and everything around you that he have for you to do in order first before he branch you out into that move that big move okay so things got to be put in order first so we just can't jump out there and and, and, and be lost all right so um uh, these, these is a uh, uh, pair of new glasses. I have a video and my purple glasses on. I got two pair of new glasses. Thank the Lord. Spent three years. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, and um, I had to laugh. I, I, I have a good sense of humor. And the people, I was one of the guys that was in the store helping me. He's from London. And he was very funny. And he, he looked at my uh, um, prescription. He said, these numbers have really changed. They have really gotten high. He said, my ex-wife had um, the same prescription. I said, I know I'm close to a CNI dog, okay? But I ain't there yet, all right? So I know that God is a healer. He's a way maker, miracle worker, and promise keeper. And if they get too deep, then I'll just have contacts, which I don't like, okay? So it is what it is. At least I can still see. <laughs> you have to laugh, okay? Everyone, yes, I'm going to talk to you today about the alignment of God and being in oneness with Him and everything. I want to talk to you also with Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verses 5 through 10 maybe, everybody. Okay. I want you to know that God is awesome no matter, no matter how it looks. No matter how bleak, no no matter how distorted, he's a God that shall not lie. When I went into prayer last night about myself, because I was a fit, feeling a little bit down, okay, because, you know, like I say, we, we, we have to wait. It ain't in our time, okay? But I heard the Lord tell me to believe, all right? To trust and believe. So that's what I'm telling you all. To trust and believe in his promises. In his words that it's going to happen. It's going to come true. Okay. The fullness um, 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 of, of the spirit of God will, will come through. It's just that he has to align uh, everything in his divine measures. Okay. All right. So let's talk a little bit. Let me give you a couple of scriptures first and foremost. Proverbs 16 3. Commit your works to the Lord and your plans will be established, everybody. So we have to commit everything to Him and you know, for our plans to be established through Him. Okay, for, for whatever it is relationships, businesses, whatever assignment God has for you to do for Him, you all. Um, God has to align both sides, not just your side, but every side. 
his side all right not my will be done Lord but his will be done so God has to align things to his good pleasure all right uh, to him much is given much is required it's one of my favorite scriptures sometimes you go on and hear me repeating the same scriptures because those are my favorite Psalm 16 6 the lines have fallen to me in pleasant places indeed my heritage is beautiful to me all right everybody so we we are the heritage of Abraham as I've been saying everybody so let's just know that he's the Lord so he has every good will and purpose for our life all right but it has to be aligned and centered in the plumb line with him. Okay. He makes our crooked places straight and our, our jagged edges smooth. So we ask God to make our pro crooked places straight, Father, and our jagged edges smooth. Okay. Let your will be done, Father. And let us be patient and wait for you. He says, they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Okay, because every what good and perfect gift comes from the Lord who has made heaven and the earth, right? All right, let's go now to Ecclesiastes 7. Let's start every one with six because. To every purpose there is time and judgment, therefore the misery of man is great upon him. For he knoweth not that which shall be, for who can tell him what it shall be? Amen. There is no man that hath power over the spirit, or retain the spirit. Neither hath he power in the day of death, and there is no discharge in that war. Neither shall wickedness deliver those that are given to it. All this have I seen and applied my heart unto every work that is done under the sun. Amen. There is a time wherein one man ruleth over another to his own hurt. And so I saw the wicked buried, who had come and gone from the place of the holy. And they were forgotten in the city where they had so done. This is also vanity. See, God is holy because the holiness of God. He, can't, he doesn't like wickedness. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. See, see, God knows that a sinner has an evil, evil heart. That's why he has to cleanse us through the blood of Jesus. Okay. Though a sinner do an evil hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear God, which fear before him. So it is well within your soul. When you fear God, it is well within your soul. That's what he wants us to do. He wants us to be to fear him. Not man. Okay? A, 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 um, not man on earth, but he wants us to fear him. Everyone, okay? What did the Lord do when he was taken up on a mountain and showed all the kingdoms of the world? When he was tempted to eat the bread, to the rock turned into bread. Okay, so he had to quote scriptures and rebuke Satan. He said that man should not live by bread alone, but by every word of the mouth of God. He said it is written that man shall not test the Lord. All right, so he had sense enough, even though he was being tempted because the devil felt that he was in a weaker state because he hadn't eaten in that long period of time for 40 days. All right. He wanted to tempt them. So in our weakened state of mind, we have to rebuke the devil. We have to rebuke Satan. Okay? So we have to know that to keep our eyes stayed on him. To let our hearts be mirrored in oneness with him. Let our plans and our lives, our minds, what we say, what we do, be aligned up and centered in a plumb line with the Lord. Everybody, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit are one of me. Okay. He says, the righteous, okay, the just shall be rich. Uh, shall, the just shall be righteous, everybody. All right. He says in 14, there is a vanity which is done upon the earth that there be just men unto whom it happened according to the work of the wicked. Again, there be wicked men to whom it happened according to the work of the righteous. I said that this also is vanity. See, 
Then I commended mirth because a man have no better thing under the sun than to eat and to drink and to be merry. For that shall abide with him of his labor the days of his life, which God giveth him under the sun. When I applied my heart to know wisdom and to see the business that is done upon the earth, for also there is that neither day nor night see, see of sleep with his eyes. See, we have to approach it in a way that God wants us to approach it with, which is wisdom, W-I-S-D-O-M, that big word, wisdom, everybody. We must have wisdom, knowledge, and revelation, and we must consider the things to come. That's to, to, to find him and seek him with our whole hearts, uh, that he will purify our hearts and love on us, oh God. Yes, love on us, Father, love on your children. Make us obedient as sacrifice, deliver us from evil, keep our feet from from moving into mischief, all right? See, he knows the plans he had for us. He says in 9, chapter 9, Ecclesiastes, for all this I considered in my heart, even to declare all this, that the righteous and the wise and their works are in the hand of God. What did he say? He said the works of the wise and the righteous. See, we have to have the the the, the oil in our lamps is the five wise virgins, not the five foolish words, virgins, because we want to be wise, alright? God no man knoweth either love or hatred by all that is before them. All things come alike to all. There is one event to the righteous and to the wicked. See, he's judging. Alright, you get your rewards. The wicked get their rewards and the righteous get theirs, okay? To the good and to the clean. Bad and, and, and ugly, bad and the good, and to the unclean, to him that sacrificeth, and to him that sacrificeth not, as is good, so is the sinner, and he that sweareth is he that feareth an oath. All right, all right. What can save us, O God, the sinner Jesus? I mean, the um, salvation of the Lord, right? Save us from our sins, all right? We can make us whole again in the name of Jesus. So, our rewards come to the wicked, and our rewards come to the just. All right? You get your just deed. You get your just rewards. So, we know what the wicked gets. All right? And we know what the just gets. All right? So, we have to be centered. Place our mind on him. Don't let nothing hinder you. We ask God to remove every hindrance to remove every crutch father may you remove every crutch in our lives that's keeping us from our alignments to be centered in you O oh god let our hearts be merry in you and acceptive the works of you of your hands oh god father god may you make our enemies our footstool may we stay away from evil and temptation in the name of jesus see god gives us that living water everybody to cleanse us the spirit of the lord let the Spirit of the Lord be in our atmosphere. Let the Spirit of the Lord be in our bread, our water. You are the bread of life, the bread of heaven. Breathe on us, O oh God, uh, your anointing from head to toe. Cover us in anointing with the wine, corn, and the fresh oil, new wine skins. O oh Lord, our Savior. Father God, man knoweth not his time, as in Ecclesiastes 9, 12. For man also knoweth not his time as the fishes that are taken in the evil net. And as the birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snare in the evil time when it falls suddenly upon them. See, see, we don't know um, how long we have here. Okay. Um, so we must know to walk upright in him, repent, be obedient in him, trust him, believe, be faithful. He says be faithful. Faithful is our God. Uh, God is judging the just and the unjust. All right? The faithful and the unfaithful. All right? So, um, just know that he's God. He's the Lord. Be joyful. Make a joyful noise. Have a merry heart. Um, pray for yourselves as well as others. It's me. It's me, O oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Pray for yourself. Okay, as well. Don't never forget to pray for yourself. All right. Um, and, and we know that when 
you're somebody that's a believer, things can come up against you even harder, you know, from from wicked people. All right. So the Lord says the just shall live by faith. So just keep your mind stayed on him. Obtain wisdom, knowledge, and revelation. God will reveal his truth to you. Your laboring is not in vain. Alright. So don't lose heart. Alright. Don't don't trip. Don't stagger. Don't falter. Keep your heart stayed on him. He's got you. It's coming. It's coming. I'm letting you know right now it's coming. You know, I know it's coming. It's coming. But we gotta wait. We gotta wait on him, everybody, for the alignment to take place. He centered it up. It's already done. It. Hey, look, it's already done. It's already taken care of. All right. But he to him, seek him. He said, when you seek me with your whole heart, there I may be found. All right. Come all who are weak and heavy laden, I will give you rest. He says, lo, I'm with you always until the end. See, that's what we got to know. He haven't left you. No, he has not left you. He's still there. He's still there waiting for you to knock. Open the door so you can come in. Lean on him. He's our guide. He's our provider. Don't take him for granted. And don't test him or don't tempt him. Okay? He does not like to be... And don't mock. He doesn't like to be mocked. He says, I'm a God that shall not be mocked. Okay? So, may your eyes stay on him. He's your leaning post. Keep leaning. All right? He's the Almighty who was and is to come. Is anything too hard for him? Nothing is. He's, he make all things possible. Keep repeating Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. When you start getting down and you start tripping a little bit, you say that, that scripture. In Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. All right? Don't give up. Don't don't give up, everybody. Because you, you can't reach his purpose if you give up. All right? So proceed in love. Proceed in justice. Proceed in faith. Proceed in righteousness. Proceed in truth. Because this word is truth. And don't let nobody tell you that it isn't. This is the true word of God. What you read and see in this Bible is the truth. He says the truth shall set you free. God always confirms his truth. That this word is truth. He always confirms it. Always, always, always verifies it and confirms it. Sometimes he'll put another person around you that will speak the same word or the same phrase. And you say, hey, I just heard that, you know. All right, everybody. Stay faithful. Stay prayed up. Pray for yourself. Pray for others. Trust them. Believe that it's going to come. It's going to come to place. God does not lie. He is a God that shall not lie. So if, if, if you seek him with your whole heart there, he may be found. All right, come all who are weak and weary, heavy laden, I will give you rest. So believe on him. All right, the just shall live by faith. I pray that someone, Father, finds you. Um, let your portion spill out of us. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Um, may your hands be on us, O oh God. May your angels surround us. Protect and seal us in the blood, O oh God. May your angels heal and deliver us from evil. Keep us from temptation. Father, where you go, there we may be also. One can put a thousand to flight and two can put ten thousand to flight. And I'm sure it's going to be more than two people that see this video, all right? So, ten thousand or more will be put to flight. Let your legion of angels camp about us, O oh God, your Holy Spirit. Anoint us with the wine, the corn, and the oil. Feed us with the manna of heaven. Open up your floodgates, O oh God. Let your impartation flow over many, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, I just pray right now that you lift up someone who is lost, O oh God. 
We bring them back to you, the atheists, lukewarm, agnostics. Father God, someone is hurting. Father God, deliver your children from grief, from pain, from anger, fits of rage, anger, hatred, envy, grief, jealousy, strife. Father God, heal. Heal their sickness, diseases, illnesses, and infirmities, oh God. I ask that your will be done, thy kingdom come, and the prayers and the righteous avail of much, do how much is given, much is required. Anything try to come against it shall be perished by fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We brought pain and all suffering. You already finished it to sell us die on the cross. In Jesus' mighty name. You all, I love you with the love of the Lord. Let your hearts be merit, be more Christ-like. You want to be more Christ-like, everybody, and to repent from anger, from ill means. May you not make bad decisions. Ask God for discernment before you do something. And don't run out there and jump into something that you should not be jumping into. Don't be so quick to run into something that God didn't say do. All right, so sometimes we just gotta be still, peace be still, peace be still. Cause he is that way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, the light in the darkness. He is the light to our path. He is everlasting father, wonderful counselor, almighty God. Yes, so you all be blessed and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.